This video deals with picture framing of multiple images. We are using custom framer software to demonstrate the design and layout. To start the process, select the setup shortcut. This brings the setup tab on the right hand side forward. We're going to, using the freestyle approach, select the number of openings. In this case, we're going to use three. We can also set the borders. We can set all of them at one time, two, and then we want to add a bit of extra weight on the bottom, three. Now drag the images into the project. Don't worry about size, shape, or position at this time. And there we have the images. We can now start to, start to position them. Click on an image. Make sure that the white dots are visible before you start to drag. And you can see how the borders adjust to the settings that were set previously. Click on one of the images. Let's change the size on the right hand side. We can change the size. Click on another image. Change the size of that image to your desired size and click on the third one. Here we're going to increase the size of the image. Notice that we have the link checkbox selected to ensure that we don't distort the image. Now let's start to add mats. Select on the mats shortcut and notice that for multiple image projects mat position 4, 5, and 6 are the interior mats. Mat 1, 2, and 3 are exterior that form around the outside of your project. So mat position 4 selected. Drag a mat. Now let's select mat position 5. Find another mat. And we'll drag that in. Double click on the project to view it full screen. Click to get out of it. Now we can change the shape of some of the openings. On the mats tab, select the edit button, edge, shape of opening number one. Let's select oval, confirm, edge, shape of opening number two, oval, confirm. Now let's use our guides to make sure that things are lined up. Drag it down here to the top. Select the second one and move that to where we want it. Now let's start to drag these here together and see what happens when they overlap. Okay. And now let's bring this up here. And we well, can hide our guides at this stage. And let's add a frame. Position your cursor over. You can see what the project looks like with that frame. When you find a frame that you like, just drag it in. Nope. And bring another one in. I'm going to replace and double click. And let's go with that. We can now save our work. We can either save it as a project, which means we can come back and we can edit it, change the mats, the moldings, change the images. We can save as an image, such as a JPEG file, which you can add uh, to your website or uh, in graphic work. Or you can save it as a panel. And saving as a panel means that you can save your design, not the images, but the design, and then add different images and save that work with your different images. That'll save you a lot of time. That was a quick review of using uh, designing and custom framer software. You can download a 30-day trial of the software from www.artframer.com.